The 2 meter national simplex call in frequency in the Southern California region has experienced an increased amount of malicious jamming that culminated yesterday evening into a climax of sexually obscene, harassing, and racist transmissions. In the late hours of the night, two significant signals were observed on 146.52 MHz from the SoCal Simplex Archive Listening Station in San Pedro, California, both describing sexual acts and using racial slurs. The culminating event on August 20th began and continued to escalate between the local times of 2120 and 2250, with signals that appeared to have originated from two different transceivers. Both signals were observed transmitting the heinous commentary at the same time, indicating a dual radio operator setup or a jamming event with multiple stations. The observed transceiver's carrier frequencies were approximately 1 to 2 kHz apart and the simultaneous transmission would suggest that the jamming did not originate from a single radio with its signal obfuscated by way of varying antennas, microphones, or RF gain settings. In the past few months, malicious mic key-ups and unidentified transmissions with whistling and breathing have been observed by the SDR monitoring stream operated for the last 18 months by KN6 IRV. Frequency regulars such as KE6ZGR in Little Saigon also report hearing bong hits and purposely timed APRS transmission bursts. More recently, the frequency has been overwhelmed in the South Los Angeles and North Orange County areas by transmissions of copyrighted material such as music and broadcast television programs. While some of the APRS bursts have been decoded and stations contacted, the occurrence of such transmissions seemed to have increased significantly over the past six months. One of the two signals was distinctly recognizable as having previously self-identified as Craig Denny, aka KN6GLC. Contributing factors to this ID including the overwhelming signal strength observed by the SoCal Simplex Archive listening station, indicating a nearby or very powerful transmission source. KN6GLC has an address listed on their FCC license record as being a mere 0.61 miles from the YouTube live stream in central San Pedro. Additionally, the human voice heard on the jammer signal was recognizable as previously self-ID'd transmissions by a station claiming to be Denny on multiple past dates. The other jamming transmissions observed yesterday evening have a lower signal strength and the station operator appeared to purposely disguise their voice. The two apparent jammers seemed to spar back and forth at times, but both openly taunted someone named Fred, assumed to be longtime SoCal ham Fred Fikes, aka KN6OS, self-described voice of Cerritos. Other comments transmitted by the station ID'd as KN6GLC included what some might consider taunting and harassing commentary about cats, and are assumed to be targeted at another seasoned Orange County operator, Dale Koptik. KE6ZGR. The station assumed to be KN6GLC also appeared to warn the other jamming station that the frequency was being recorded by quote KN6FBI end quote. The recent disruptions to the simplex calling frequency haven't gone without return threats from the openly identified stations who claim to be tracking the jammers. Reference to the mental health, work ethic, and physical well-being of the malicious operators have been expressed on multiple occasions, including threats to target the jammer's place of employment, his radio equipment, and person. By 2250 Pacific Time, the malicious jamming transmissions had diminished and 146.52 MHz, as observed in the Los Angeles Arbor area, was quiet again.